couple of things first when you're getting set up. One thing important to note, you're going to want to think about your mapping, your user accounts and, and how they're mapped from the source to the destination. Generally speaking, your user accounts and the format in which they're built is completely different. Uh, you're going to have like an Active Directory where your user ID uh, template might be, you know, the, the domain backslash the user ID. That's generally what it is. But versus SharePoint Online, the primary account name normally ends up being their UPN. This whole reason I'm talking about this is do a manual user mapping. Second subject that we have here is more relating to classic versus modern. There are some things you can switch from classic to modern. There are other things that don't work well. And the killer question is always, does it have publishing? Does it have publishing feature enabled at the source? Does it have publishing web parts? Does it have publishing content types, features? Because a lot of that stuff, well, it's anything publishing related period just doesn't exist in modern. At least to get a decent idea of how many sites you have with this feature enabled, you can go to all reports. We're going to go to a site collection object type. And then as a filter, we're going to scroll down here and we're going to go to site collection features. I'm going to go navigate through all my sites here. We're going to go to site settings and we're going to click the uh, site collection features here. And then I have my options here. So I can choose SharePoint server publishing infrastructure. And then I can choose, I want to find sites that have it activated. Once I run my report, it'll show me all the site collection. The other thing is custom scripting. When you're going to SharePoint Online, generally speaking, the custom scripting feature is disabled by default. It's something that needs to be enabled at the site collection level. But for modern sites, you have to use a PowerShell script for this. Um, we do have an article on custom scripting where we show you a little bit where an example of a script is. 